Evan Hollywood back on the IE Network, and this is the Heaven Hollywood Report, and let's get to it. So Megan Thee Stallion dropped a, performed a new joint tonight at Coachella, and let me tell you something, she dropped some heat at Coachella, and we're going to let you listen to it, and then we're going to come back on the other side and talk about it, because Megan... So she was saying some ass. Of course, due to copyright, I'm not allowed to let you hear that. I mean, you can go check it out wherever it is, you know, online. It's funny, YouTube won't let me um, repost, but it's all over Instagram. So just go check out um, the performance. We're going to go over the lyrics here, you know, shortly after uh, she performed it. Song was fire, though. Song was definitely fire. It kind of took the uh, Coachella audience by surprise. You know, of course, the Megan Thee Stallion fans that was out there, they loved it. But I think the Coachella audience, they was a little shocked, like, Hmm, what's going on here? <laughs> but Megan, this is what I mean, man. That girl can rap. Y'all better stop, you know, getting her effed up. <laughs> Megan Stallion can rap, y'all. I don't know who y'all think y'all playing with. It was Megan Stallion and she performed this at Coachella. Now, a couple of things. First and foremost, those lyrics were fire. The beat was a throwback. I believe it was a bad boy beat. I'm not sure. But man, this is the first thing I want to say. I don't think Coachella, with that crowd, deserved that joint. She should have saved that for the Negroes. She should have saved that for her concert. When she do a concert either in Houston or New York, especially it's an East Coast beat, New York. And she should have saved that for her concert because the Coachella crowd didn't deserve that. I'm sorry. That's too hip-hop and too hard for the Coachella crowd. That's the first thing. The second thing is, if she released this song, you got to get Lil' Kim on the second verse. Can you imagine? Look, that is right up Lil' Kim's alley, and that is the perfect a subject for Lil' Kim. I looked up the lyrics, okay? We want to find out who is she talking to. Is she talking about Partisan? I don't think she's talking about Tory Lanez. Or is she talking about Money Bag Yo? Or is she talking about her first ex? Here goes what she's saying. Yeah, F N word, still can't believe I used to F with you. Popping plan B's cause I ain't planned to be stuck with you. Damn, I see you still kick it with them op B's. I'm the only reason that your goofy ass got B's. All them hoes wanna look like me. B most likely only Fing you just to spite me. So please don't get it twisted, I ain't tripping. I never put my faith in an N-word. B, I'm a dying dependent. That's hot. If you was wondering, yeah, boy, I'm still that B. I had to block you, but you still got to watch this S. So if partisan is blocked, we'll know that he's talking about him. Because <laughs> who the F rocket like me? No bra, tight T. Slick back ponytail, feeling like I'm iced tea. Oh, that was fire. You know I s it. You know I suck it good. Real hood when you wake up. You know her head weak if she ain't effing up her makeup. Go ahead, Megan. Damn, I can't believe I used to let you f me. I'd rather be in jail before a broke n word cuff me. So I mean, I don't think money bag girl is broke. Tori's not broke. Maybe her first boyfriend. <laughs> she said, I'd rather be in jail. Remember, didn't she get didn't she get arrested? 
um, for that first boyfriend, I'd rather be in jail before a broke N-word cuff me. Ladies, love yourself because this S could get ugly. That's why it's F N-words get money. And I don't give a F if that N-word leave tonight because N-word that D don't run me. You better get on your knees and eat this P right before I have another. Oh, get on your knees and eat this P right before I have another N-word do it for me. Because D don't run me. I run D. N-word. Yeah. Use a B. <laughs> this track was for the whole drop. Bunk. 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 Bum. That was used in, in a remix. I believe that was used in in one of the Jodeci remixes. <clears throat> I believe, but it was definitely Bad Boy who did it. Or up to, I think, I believe Puffy. Did, but, yo, Megan Thee Stallion. That was fire. Letter to my ex. She's saying, so we can cross out Tory Lanez because she doesn't consider Tory as her ex. So it wasn't Tory. It's either partisan, money bag yo, or that first dude. I don't really know if it's money bag yo because he's not broke. Partisan, a lot of people, you know, he, a lot of people think partisan ain't got no money, ain't got no real money, and then the first boyfriend of hers. Ooh, geez, I had to block you. So I'm not so sure Partisan is blocked. Partisan probably still on her friends list. Whoever she was talking about, Megan Thee Stein, that was her niche. That, that just lets me know. This is the type of stuff I'm talking about. For all y'all to be talking about Megan can't rap, you're playing yourself. You're playing yourself to my Megan got ghostwriters. Megan been doing this a long time, way before she met Partisan, Fartisan, and everybody else. Megan can rap. Don't don't get her effed up. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood for the IE Network. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends.